Hey, so as you can see, um, I've just received my scroll box and I do have a cold, but I could not wait to open it. For anyone who doesn't know, a scroll box is a monthly subscription box um, full of art supplies. Uh, it's £15 a month and for UK customers, because it's a UK based product, it's free posting packaging. And for anywhere outside of the UK, there is a shipping cost. Um, but £15 a box is not a bad price, I, I think, and you you really do get some decent things in these boxes. So this is the match box. Yeah, the match box. Um, and well, let's get straight into it. Okay, so let's get some of this out. I heard this is quite a messy box, and I can already see it as there's a... Uh, Crumbles, looks like a pastel or something. Okay, so <clears throat> let's have a look at the artwork. So there's always a featured artist in these boxes. So this is really pretty. Let's move some of this off here. It's really dirty. Uh, it's a pastel, this. Um, so this is obviously um, from the view of the moon looking at Earth. So here's the featured, featured artist, David, uh, Armenian living in Germany, uh, inspired by nature and the cosmos, a wide range of mediums, but has recently become interested in soft pastel as a medium to create night skies and imaginary landscapes. So there's his Instagram, so you should go and check him out, I'm definitely going to do so. Um, so this is the paper, it'll probably say something about this inside, it is a bit dirty because of all the crumbled pastel in here, but... It looks like, do you know, your nice generic pastel kind of paper. Uh, let's move some of this. Okay, so, some nice purple paper. Wow, this is a messy box. <laughs> okay, so. This. We've got our sticker. how dirty this is um, so another thing that Scrollbox do is they include a little card with what you get inside and also a scroller challenge that you you use everything in this box nothing else and um, to create something based on this scroller challenge and then you obviously upload it on social media with the hashtag um, scroller challenge so this scroller challenge is cosmic landscape so I'll read off this to say what's in the box so the sticker, very dirty sticker. <laughs> um, okay, so we have first of all Rembrandt, the famous artist, which I've just seen a lot of his paintings in um, Paris. Rembrandt soft pastels, high quality artist pastels with the perfect balance of usability and professional results. For a soft pastel, they are surprisingly firm and dry, which gives you a much greater degree of control. And once applied, they blend fully. They are made with a high concentration of pure pigment, making them highly light, fast, and intense. Pigment is bound with kaolin clay, and two blended, and the two blended ensure consistent, brilliant colours and an even coverage. So that's cool. We've got. A nice white here. A nice white. I've got this all over my fingers. <laughs> um, we have a black. We have a Prussian blue. That's probably what all this colour is coming from because it is snapped a little bit there. Um, and this one snapped quite a lot, as you can see all this here. This is a phthalo blue. I, I can never pronounce this. Um, phthalo blue or something, uh, which is nice, soft, uh, light blue. So then next on the list is some Derwent Pastel Pencils. Derwent pastel pencils, you can enjoy the beauty of a pastel without the mess. They have a soft powdery texture which produces a smooth finish being a pencil which makes pastel much easier to control and apply with smaller detail. Okay, so in these, so these are by Derwent, in these we have a titanium white, we have carbon black, 
have Prussian blue, we have aluminium grey, and mid green. So they're some quite interesting colours. These will definitely make some sort of planet kind of um, scene with these. And then lastly, there's the Durant Pastel pencil sharpener. It's not just any pencil sharpener, this was designed specifically for the use of a Durant Pastel pencil. So these. The shorter barrel helps prevent pencil points breaking to keep your supplies in tip-top condition. Oh yeah, it's quite a short barrel that. That's good. Uh, that'll come in handy because I've I've got some um, charcoal pencils. I can never sharpen them, so maybe they'll work better in that. And then on the list, there's also a bit more about this paper, um, which is 160 GSM paper. The pastel pigment grips the textured surface of this specialist paper. It's made with 40% cotton and is acid-free, making it of archival quality. So don't, you probably won't be able to pick up the texture. It's very, very light texture. Uh, texture compared to the acrylic paper um, from last week but yeah this is a very very messy box I've just been fiddling with these and I'm already covered in pastel um, I, let's see if I've got any paper anywhere hold on okay so let's have a little see how these look so let's start off with these so we've got mid green here let's zoom. that's the mid green there so you do get that kind of and it does spread quite nicely we've got the aluminium grey kind of a silver colour we've got Prussian blue Got carbon black, and then obviously we've got our titanium white, which you won't be able to pick up there. And we'll go over. It's quite interesting. Okay, so they're kind of hard, um, hard, but then also do you put the colour on the paper, which is quite nice. Um, for these Rembrandts. These are a lot softer, I can feel how soft these are compared, obviously that was the white so you can't see that, um, that's the black, yeah these are a lot softer, you can't see that, a lot softer, very very soft, Prussian blue, let's use this end, oh that's a nice dark blue, so it's good because I was a bit concerned that some of the colours that were given in the pencils were kind of similar to the, um, to these colours but you can see how this dark, this dark it's kind of this, let me start again, the pencils is kind of a mid blue between these two which is quite nice and the blacks are very different, the pencil blacks a bit more grey um, compared to the black in the Rembrandt and then the green is obviously the only green we have. Um, so yeah, that's all of it really. Um, yeah, this is going to be a very messy experience, I'm going to have to put these in their own like bag or box or something away from things because it's going to make a mess so yeah I'm going to have fun um, using these so let's see how these blend look at that that's incredible yeah these will be really fun to use so um, I'm excited to do this and uh, I'll see you on the flip side and see what we can um, create from them so thank you for watching so far and please tune in to see what I make using scrawler challenge which let me refresh is cosmic landscape so let's see what we can create with that so see you soon okay so firstly i got all those little cracked bits of the pastel and put them in a little container because i just didn't want to waste it and they are good quality and everything and in the end i think i mainly use those little scraps to do stuff Anyway, onto the drawing. I wanted to add a bit of perspective into my drawing, um, so I sketched off camera just because um, I was ill and I just wanted to plan it out. And um, I drew, the, you'll see a little point in the centre which I drew from lots of perspective lines. That's why the building and the satellite is at very different angles and you can see that they are the closest thing to you which I really wanted to incorporate and um, that's what I did so and then obviously in, that's in the foreground upon some sort of 
ground area, I don't know what. And then in the background is obviously the sky and a planet, which I think I put as kind of, I don't know, is it the Earth? I don't really know. I added earthy colours to it, as in Earth planet colours. Um, and it just developed from there. And then in the mid-ground is kind of like a lake, a very bright lake. Um, so yeah, it, it's... It was it was fun to do. It was difficult. I must admit, I prefer the Rembrandt pastels for their softness, for their blending, everything, to the Derwent. They were very hard. They were handy when I needed to get fine detail, but did not lay down the colour as well over the top of other colours as the Rembrandt did. The Rembrandt, you could lay it over lay, you could put them white on top of pure black and it would come out white, whereas the Derwent pastels didn't. And I understand that they are completely different, they're harder, you know, they've been refined to be a pencil, but it would have been way nicer if they could overlay because it became very difficult. I was really trying to get detail in there with the buildings, with the, especially with the satellite, like I was trying to get scaffolding, do you know how intricate satellite dishes are but I just could not get there and then it ended up being fuzzy and in the end I was not happy with how the satellite turned out everything else was fine but I wish I hadn't included that and just included the buildings because although they weren't the most spectacular thing I think it would have it would have just kept the the picture better it would have been just one little focal point in the right and then you see the beautiful scenery in the background of the 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 planet and everything but i will say doing the planet was actually a really really nice thing i i loved it and um you know the i just loved how the reflectiveness of the planet reflectiveness i can't think like the spray of light from the planet going into the dense black of the sky was really satisfying to do (laughs) like it really really was like laying down a thick piece of color and then smudging it with your finger this became very messy i had to have baby wipes like makeup wipes next to me where i was wiping my fingers constantly just to get off that color because if i smudged it into the white then i would ruin parts you know what i mean so it was very very difficult very messy but enjoyable to lay down thick pieces of color and get your hands dirty um compared to paint and things like that it's quite nice um, I I planned this on my iPad on a drawing app which I was planning on doing a video on in the future um, which I'll show you how I plan things like this but um, this building in f- that's in the foreground I've put this light blue over it um, to act as glass I don't know whether, whether that's come across correctly I'm not really sure but it's meant to look like a glass roof um, with a little bit of shading in the, fo- the, the nearest foreground um, but yeah it's meant to look like g- glass that's why you can see the inside of the building because I wanted to have some detail like the inside of the building in there but um, yeah I also wanted it to look have a roof <laughs> if you know what I mean so yeah there were a few things that happened like I was adding more shading to that building more light more shading and I kept adding in taking away and messing about with it and I lost a bit of the detail inside like I lost a little kind of like shoot that I'd put in there just then um, a bit later so yeah and this is me working on the satellite you can see how I really tried because the carbon black pencil Derwent pencil was a lot lighter black it's more of a grey black than the the, uh, Rembrandt and I tried to utilise that by creating a kind of grayer satellite rather than black satellite and it worked for the most part but I really wish there was another (laughs) colour, do you know what I mean like a, well not another colour just some way of creating a less fuzzy looking one and I really tried like it just became really really difficult, the sharpener was great Um, it sharpened beautifully there was no cracks, I didn't didn't lose any um, lead out of any of the pencils it was perfect but the, um, the fuzziness really I just really did not enjoy the fuzziness. Um, maybe it's because I added some Rembrandt pastel in just to create a bit more detail that the pencil was not bringing out. Um, but yeah, there were there were moments like now I think I should have just left it, but I kept going in there with the pencil, and I think that's what created the fuzziness really. Um, but you know, it's an experiment. Experience. 
experience, not experiment. Well, it was both really, but <laughs> it was a good experience and I'm going to try and practice with it a little bit more in a sketchbook or something. Um, no filming, of course, just practice for me. And then hopefully I might be able to bring out another um, kind of video of me playing around with this because I've got the other sheet of the pastel um, and maybe incorporate me using different supplies with it like a um, stub do you know those cotton stubs that you can blend with one of those would have been perfect for some of this detail because i was just using my finger and it was getting very messy so um yeah for big areas i'd still use my finger but for the little bits on the satellite a stub would have been absolutely perfect um but yeah i hope i hope you like the design it was um difficult but it was my own design really i didn't I incorporated, you know, the the scrawler challenge of the cosmos landscape, I think it was, or something. Um, but yeah, I enjoyed it, and I would love to do another one. So I'll I'll practice some more. Maybe in a couple of weeks, a few weeks, I'll um look, put out another video. I hope hope you like it. There's parts I don't like, but I think overall it turned out well, considering I'm not used to using pastel. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. of the paintbrushes were amazing like the thick one I did for the background granted you won't be able to do a very large painted with it but it was, it was good enough to do the background for this and then um, you know doing the thick tufts of feathers with the kind of like medium brushes and then with that fine brush you can see on the face there I've got a lot of detail in there with just that fine brush and it was really amazing